Hello everyone, today I would like to tell you about one more unusual rare earth metal, about Erbium. Like all other lanthanides, Erbium belongs to group 6 in the periodic table of chemical elements. Its atomic number is 68. As many other rare earth metals, Erbium was discovered in Sweden, but a small village named Itterby, that is located close to Stockholm was especially profound in this respect. From 15th century on quartz for blacksmiths was mined in this village, and from 18th century on felspar for potters was also mined here. In 1787, Lieutenant Carl Arrhenius planned to build fortifications in this village, but he accidentally saw an unusual black stone that he studied later on. Later still, John Gedolin, a Finnish chemist, managed to find out that 38% of its content was an unknown element, and along with that, he named the mineral after himself, naming it Gedolinite. He named the new unknown element Eterbit, after the settlement it was found in, Eterby. Later, in the middle of 19th century, another Swedish scientist, whose name was Karl Mosander, found out that each orbit consisted of a mix of oxides of new metals, which was an oxide of erbium and terbium. During the next 30 years, the names of these two elements would change until finally a pure oxide of erbium was extracted. The pure metal was first extracted only in 1934 through the reduction of erbium chloride using potassium vapor as a reducing agent. Nowadays, however, erbium is extracted from such a mineral as xenotime, which is mostly found in China. The Chinese have monopolized the rare earth metal market. That is the reason why all the devices are made there, because making them requires rare earth metals. Getting back to the point, the extracted metallic erbium is very similar to other lanthanides, to terbium, for instance. Although it gets attracted to magnets much worse than terbium. By the way, to check out the magnetic properties of many elements, see the link down in the description. Erbium compounds are of distinctive bright pink color. Thanks to their colors, they were discovered when gadolinite was studied. When submerged in hydrochloric acid, it forms pink erbium chloride, which is slightly more pale than neodymium chloride. Like neodymium and holmium compounds, it changes color depending on lighting. In LED light, it's more gray, whereas in fluorescent lamp light, it's bright pink. Chemical properties of all lanthanides are very similar, and erbium is not an exception. When ground of our dear grinding wheel, it sparks beautifully burning down in the air and forming erbium oxide. However, from the physical point of view, erbium and its compounds are among the most widely used. The fact is that, because erbium atom has got f orbitals and f electrons, the quantum mechanism enables this metal to strengthen the luminous flux. Active medium of many infrared lasers is largely based on this same principle. In turn, the medium is based on yttrium aluminum garnet with erbium atoms. Beams of such lasers are now used in plastic surgeries for removing wrinkles. They are also used in dentistry, because hydroxyapatite, the minerals bones and teeth are made of, can easily be cut with such lasers too. It's worthy to note that when performing dental surgeries with such lasers, there is no need to use anesthesia, because the radiation suppresses nerve impulses, preventing patients from feeling pain. But still one of the most important uses of erbium compounds is in the optical signals amplifiers. The fact is that today the worldwide data is transmitted through fiber optical cables, many of which lay on the ocean floor and stretch thousands of kilometers. But no one can trick physics. And as the distance increases, the signals weaken, no matter how good the fiber optical cables are. In order for signals not to disappear, amplifiers are set in every 50 km, which are small parts of fiber optical cables with erbium atoms that are in an excited state because of the additional light supply. Or in other words, they are light up. Light beams passing through such urban parts of the fiber optical cables are amplified about by two times without changing their wavelength. The signals can travel another 50 km at the speed of light without losing their intensity. That is why we should thank urban compounds for the high-speed internet worldwide. And maybe you are watching this video 
thanks to Urban. As if that was not enough, there have developed quantum computer technologies. Google and NASA use some of such computers for operations that require especially precise calculations. However, for such computers to exchange data, special wires are needed that are capable of remembering and storing quantum information for at least one thousandth of a second. Quantum world is extremely unfathomable, but using agents containing Erbium helps to store information up to a second. Such recent discoveries can lead to the creation of quantum internet, where data will be at the same time inside the computer and is being transmitted through cables. To sum up, we can say that Erbium is one of the most important lanterns, compounds of which can help not only to cure teeth, but also to use quantum phenomena for our needs. If you would like to support the continuous production of science videos like this one, please support channel on Patreon, link in the video description. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel to see many more new and interesting.